Hey kiddos, next two here, and welcome back to Lisa. In the last episode, we fought a bunch of people, we met some weirdos, we walked around, and we definitely fell off ledges. A lot of ledges. But, now, after learning some karate scroll that literally did nothing to me, we're gonna go this way. Cause the music is great over here. I wanna test something out, I wonder if drinking one of these will give you your bottle back. You got an empty bottle. It does! Oh my god, that means I can infinitely refill and fill them. Oh my god, that's amazing. Also, I just realized I'm taking a bottle of soup. Oh, you can't do it forever, though. That sucks. What's up, my dude? Don't mind, Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. Puzz off. There's nothing on the table. What? What am I doing here, man? I don't know where I'm going. Maybe there's something back here? Oh. It's a sad, lonely room. I only have three mags. I'm so poor now. This is a shame. No clue what I'm doing, dude. Nowhere to go. So I guess the only thing we could do now is take, dro take joy. Oh, I took it. What's up? Uh, it doesn't say anything's happening. I took the joy, though. We got the joy, and so do you. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, bro. But I took the joy, so... Um... Maybe Terry has to take it, too? Yeah, we're both on joy now. Um, you're not the way you used to be. What happened? Oh! I fight him now? Punker? What happened to him? Also, I still can't do any damage for some reason. Well, there we go, now I can fight them. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't able to fight early. I think I'm suffering the effects of something. Oh, Puker coughed out what now? What's happening to him? Or Punker? Dude, this guy looks terrible. I don't know why- whoa. I don't know why he got this all, like, mutated arm thing. Well, I missed. No, you killed Terry. I'll bet you, Terry, don't worry. Oh. That was obnoxiously loud. Damn, you missed all that XP, bro. New skills, dropkick and fireball. Damn. Found a trash bag, Shaw. Okay, looks like there is nothing left for me here. But yeah, I think the only- oh, oh wait, there is this way, but isn't this just loop me back to where I was before? It doesn't, I'm an idiot. I thought this looped me back to where I was before, like I thought I just need to go through a cave to pass. So that's why I never went this way. Hey there, mister. We about to- what's... I always think when they stand by ledges they're gonna jump off. I don't know why I keep doing that. doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olith and what happened. Many tales would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Alright, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. It was sitting with my I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she brought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. 
Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon lemon tea, then transfer the con content into a glass. Oh god, these one of these people trail off every new detail they add to the story, so I can already tell it's gonna go on forever. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe she could put ice on the glass. But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. <laughs> Anyways, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking tea, sweet lemon tea, from a glass of course, ho <laughs> ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it is? Yup. It was my rocking chair. <laughs> that wood son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho. I slid into my jammies and brushed my teeth and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it, Oh my god, that's fucked up. Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Platenberg, <laughs> Plateberger, yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyways, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay, yay, yay. Ay, yay, yay. At this point, I've already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a of a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Are you fucking kidding? Ari, right, what's going on? Hey, what's up, cut? Hey, what's up, cut? Yeah. Oh. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were that marvelous. <laughs> anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just uptight, an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Fortnite. Now earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow, ho ho. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from that dumb potato bitch wife. <laughs> from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. <laughs> and get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. What? Who the fuck does that? A nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Is he done? Alright. Well, I don't want to fucking ever speak to him again. Jesus Christ. Alright. Is there anything worth robbing in this man's house? There's literally nothing in this man's house. This was just pointless to the plot and story, and I think I lost a few brain cells listening to those stories. But, you can't handle it. It's just... I really like when games throw in random NPCs like this. Like, just... He has no point to the plot. He's not anyone I'm gonna meet ever again. He's just kind of here. So, it's funny when they throw characters like that in the game. Well, hello again. 
funny seeing you here. What are you, following me or something? Ho ho. Anyway. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I often wonder what will happen here. What happened here? What was that big flash? Why are we all why are we here? Even our night and day cycles odd. Sometimes day lasts ages and night comes rarely. And these clouds so strange. What happened to our earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent public publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio. You'll see utensils. Okay. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or woman, but as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see there is some water damage. You think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort and his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. Oh, just then a drop of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly started directing at my feet, or er, stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many tales to tell. Oh my god, this guy's joining us right after I said that I didn't want to see him again. Welp, we got Nern now. Let's see what Nern's <laughs> status is. The self-proclaimed historian of his time, he talks a lot. Okay. Do I have something to equip to him, though? Because I remember I got something. Oh, I do. Trash bag Shaw. There we go. Alright. Well, that was a thing that took up most of the episode, so that's great. What the fuck? I entered the door and this happened. What is his name? Big Pancake Norton. Also, when did Nern get a gun? Nern, where did you get a gun from? Also, what is this music? Nern is so much useful than Terry Hint already just because he has a gun. And I can understand why people kill off Terry now. Terry has a slams into people. I should probably learn my other skills, but I'm too lazy to at the moment. Okay, let's look. WSD... DDA... Okay, DDA is what we're gonna do now. DDA! He evaded it? God damn it. Fireball is WSD, drop kick is W O W D W W A. I'm gonna do WSD. Topics. Tell your friends some of your favorite techniques. No. Okay, he doesn't have any powers. WSD. Whoa, that did an insane amount! I did it all for the nookie. Me too, buddy. We always do it for the nookie. Nern, that's one for the books. Alrighty. Brad stopped bleeding. Oh, I didn't even... I forgot I was bleeding. I'm glad that I stopped bleeding and I don't have to deal with it actually in this game. Because that would be annoying. Okay, yeah. So I think I just have to go here now. And I don't know how to bring back Tom Hints at the moment. Terry Hints. Well, I didn't get that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, can we go here now without being confused by what licked us? Because I don't think I was able to fight because whatever it was that kissed me or whatever. Oh, this thing. 
Oh my god, you can see its eyes if you look really closely. It's fucking creepy. Okay, we're gonna Ooh. use the fucking... Oh. We're gonna shoot the fireball again. Wow, okay, this fireball's broken as hell. We literally killed things in one hit. And we got 10 mags. I... Oh, I could, I could get, if I get any more mags, I might be able to recruit more people. Oh, come on, the exit was right there. Game. The fucking game crashed, okay. Okay, no clue what happened there, but we made it out. Bring her to Randall and he will give you the world. Oh, are you guys a part of Rando? Hello? Okay. You guys not want to talk to me? Okay. Yo! Where are you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. Rando doesn't want us starting shit for no reason. I said get over here now! You got any business here? <laughs> I like my options. No shit, cowboy. Everybody's looking for her. I'm asking why you're here. This is rando turf. <laughs> Just get out of here. Alright, asshole. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to keep talking. Oh, no. I have to fight all of them? Alright, I'll kill them. Porky Row. I'll kill you all. F fuck it. I'll kill you all. We'll spur up some topics for Brad. Oh boy. I'll kill your ass. Let's do it. That didn't kill him. They killed him in one hit. Oh, they're strong as shit. I shouldn't have fought them. I shouldn't have fucking fought them. I am taking them, actually. It's just I'm not gonna... Okay, 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 okay. I overestimated. I overestimated. I can beat them. Okay, I need to chill. I just need to heal up before I fight them. But I can take them. Alright, we got this. Everyone's at full health. And we got Terry Hints back. So it's time to fuck these boys over. I don't give a shit about you, Rando. Where are you going? Get over here. I said get over here. <laughs> fuck you. You think you're funny? Yeah, I think I am, bitch. What you gonna do about it, huh? Okay, who's the guy who stopped me? You're the one who stopped me, so I'll kill you first. Um... Can I learn something? Inform little cheer. Use a disrage word to upset the opponents. This can either make them cry or get them pissed. Okay, let's just attack. Well, I'll take you. You can do whatever the fuck you want, bro. I'm taking your ass out, bro. Yeah, how's it fucking feel? Holy crap. Alright. We'll take you out now. Because you do shit that isn't normal. Here you. Take you out. Yeah. Hey. take you out now. Yeah, these guys are nothing. I don't know why I fucking killed them. Take you. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. You could be all mad as you want, bro. Oh, let's go, Terry in. Taking them out. And they're done. <laughs> and we've all gotten levels. Machine gun fist. Discuss power. 28 mags. Yeah. How's it feel, Rando? Oh. Are you Rando? You done fucked up. Oak tree Steve. So this guy's not Rando. But he's going to die like the rest. Because only Rando can take me out. This guy is a different kind of theme. He might be a boss. Damn, you can take two of my attacks. Oak Tree Steve is astounded by your stupidity. 
Oh yeah, let's see. What's what's machine gun fist? W A W A. Okay. W A W A. Whoo! School's out for this kid. We are undefeatable. Holy crap! Let's go. <laughs> My sweet wife, God rest her soul. Knuckle drop. All right. Mystery jerky. Oh, we got more of that. And what's up here? Okay. I don't think we should continue up here, but God, we fucking raped Rando's army. So we're going to head back. I think we're going to go to that bar and either buy the other dude or talk to Mysterious Dude. So let's go do that. Okay, we're back here now. Now we can buy this guy. So let's get him. You don't have enough mags. We don't? Oh, we've 69. Are you fucking with me? Alright, can I sell to you? Oh, I can't. Alright, but I do know where I can sell. Alright, now we have enough for it. Now we're getting somewhere. El Rage joined you. Alright, so let's look at you. Luchador, an energetic luchador who disregards his own safety for the sake of style. Attack with his head. Attacks with his head. I'm worried that his attacking will hurt him, though. How much money I got? Oh, so if I bought him a drink, I'd be able to do it, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh, wait, there is someone who did want liquor, though. So, I will buy it. Yep, we're gonna buy one of those. And now we'll go find him. Buddy. Hello, chum. Wanna invest in my wonderful product? Oh, wait, this isn't the guy. This guy. Gave him potato liquor. I got 50 mags. Let's -a go. Now I got 71 mags. Alright, and then. If I grind up, and by grind up I mean every time I go in that one cave with the shadow people, I seem to get uh, 20 or so mags per kill. So if I get. If I fight like two more of those guys, I should have enough money to buy uh, everyone a new weapon. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because new weapon's great. Alright, boys. We are decked out. Look at us. Oh, yeah. We got... Well, first off, Brad is level 8 now. The others are kind of caught up. Look at this. We got the Wolverine Band. We got the Shag Poncho now. We got Terry with another Wolverine Band. The Drab Tank Top. We got Nern with a Pea Shooter now. And, uh... He has a Wolverine Band. And he has a Dainty Shawl. So now everyone is upgraded. And we're gonna go this way, because this is the only way we haven't really been yet. And I could go back to, uh, Rando's territory, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be there yet. <laughs> and this place looks funny, so I'm gonna go here first. The girl's just up ahead. She's in an old clubhouse, but those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. So now I'm gonna kick them pretty out of you, prick. What? Okay, if you want to die that badly, Booker Clinton, you can. W-A-S-G. This guy is so good, I'm glad I recruited him. Uh, Brad, oh yeah. Douglas. Nice, Terry. Knuckle drop. Okay, I'll shoot you. What are your skills? You learned a new one. Running splash. A-A-A-S-S-D, got you. A-F-F-E <laughs> That was a nice one W-F-E This guy has a lot of health Ooh I'm unsinkable Like the Titanic That's why he died That guy was good Cool pose Okay Got five mags Alrighty is there anything else over here for me before I go up? Oh, there is. What is this maze-like place? How do I get to that thing? The music here is very odd. Oh, let's start climbing up. So, they said that the girl's here. But they kicked him out. So that's a thing. 
I'm assuming she's up here. Oh, it's down here. Hello, buddy. Am I gonna have to fight you? Because I've had to fight a lot of people. Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. Okay, so I gotta get a bike. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, well, that means I have to go fight Rando's army. So I'll be right there. Alright, so we're at this checkpoint that I found here. Now, um, in the next episode, we will continue off. We got a full party now, and they're all great people. So I can only imagine what will happen when we continue our series. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.